back to another Van Build video. So what are we going to do today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the question. So actually, I've been thinking about it. I'm going to put in doors today. Cool. Yeah, we've been talking about all sorts of different things. We're at that point where we kind of finished up the face frames. And then it was like, well, now what? Do we work on this or that? There's a million things we could be working on right now. Yeah, so it's I could do plumbing. I could do electrical. I could do paneling for the doors. Um, there's just a lot of, there are a lot of things. Plus, yeah. we need to do some more clear coating. Right. That's what I'll be doing today. <laughs> <laughs> I know what my job is today. That's it's right. just like, what are you doing? Get to work now. <laughs> okay. So, so, yeah. So that's where we are. Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> After thinking it all through about the, the kind of hinges that I think we're going to use and the material that we have, the main decision factor here is the materials that I have available. And um, I ended up using more material in the, in the build of the van than I expected that I would. And so I don't really have enough material to make like uh, two inch door frames and, and to put quarter inch in between or something like that. I have some three quarter inch plywood left over and so I'm gonna make them out of that and then I also have a lot of half inch plywood left over. So we're gonna make some of these out of half inch and then some out of three quarter. And so what I've done is I, as I earlier today, I ripped a bunch of uh, three sixteenths inch um, alder that I can put around the edges of the plywood to make it look solid, make it nice and, and neat. And um, so I'm going to wrap all of these doors with that. It's going to be very simple. Uh, just glue and nail those on. Good morning. Again, we're picking up our work today where we left off yesterday and Matt is working on the cabinet doors and doing a lot of sanding and I'm going to be doing a whole nother set of sanding and cleaning the cabinets that we already have and putting a whole nother clear coat on them. But yesterday we ended up having to go to Home Depot to pick up some more lumber for the table. So that'll be coming up. But uh, while we were out, it started raining. We had this great rainstorm. It's been so needed and we finally got a good drenching rainstorm and it was just a great excuse to put down work a little bit early yesterday and take a nap and just take a load off for a while. We've been going at it pretty steady lately. We're back again today and we're going to be showing you more of what we got going with the cabinets and the focusing I have to say today is on sanding. doing here is I'm adding nailers here on the side. The refrigerator is going to sit in here and then it's got two screws that are going to go into the side panel here. So I'm just putting side panels on here so I have something to, to nail to. Whatever you do when you build cabinets, don't use MDF plywood. It's just garbage. It's soft press board and it just crumbles. Um, screws don't hold in it. It splits when you put nails in it. 
It spritz when you put screws in it. It's just really terrible stuff. I didn't know that's what I was getting when I ordered plywood. I was asking for good quality cabinet grade plywood. And uh, and I'd never really worked with it before. So when this is what they gave me, I took it and I'm really regretting it. These screws will hold nice and solid here in this alder face frame. But it doesn't hold to the floor well at all. So, but what I'm going to do is, in addition to this nailer, I'm also putting a couple of anchors here. And these have slots in them that I just manufactured. And what I'm going to do is screw these down to the floor, and then I'm going to run a strap over the refrigerator and down to the other side so that that will also hold the refrigerator in. So we'll have four anchor points plus a strap holding it down. That should be pretty bummer. Countertop. Yeah, this has been sitting in the garage for how long? I've been so anxious to see it. Weeks. So this is our countertop. Um, we bought this butcher block. It's oiled with a uh, food grade oil, and so we're thinking we're just going to use it as a butcher block. And so we'll have to clean it and oil it after we use it regularly, just like our <laughs> cast iron pans. Yeah. So. Beautiful. So I'm just measuring from the cut an exact inch and a half. Because that's the width of my skill saw base. Okay, so I uh, just want to let you know what we did today, what we actually got done. Uh, Christina got another coat of clear on all this and then got it sanded. It's ready for another coat of, of clear. So I got the refrigerator space pretty much set up. Um, but before we actually put the refrigerator in, we needed to get the mount on for the lagoon. And in order to do that, we needed to get some measurements and so in order to make sure that we can get this lagoon to go full height up and down as well as turn if we need it to turn um, we needed to make sure that this back end on here is going to clear so we needed to build this out uh, blah 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 long story short um, we we did all that and got this mounted, but um, I, it's not fully mounted yet because the screws they gave us are too short. So I'm going to have to go to the store tomorrow and get, get the screws that will work for the situation we have here. And then, um, but in order to do all that, I did need to get the countertop cut to length, which I did. And then uh, it's it's got quite a bit of an overhang. It's a 25 inch. I thought it was a 24 inch, but it's a 25 inch. So it's going to... We're going to have to rip it down so that it's got the right overhang. Um, but, you know, it's looking pretty sweet. The other thing I did was I got the cabinet doors that I had done um, oiled, sanded and oiled. And uh, I didn't get to putting on the hardware yet, but uh, 
you know, we can do that one of these days. Maybe we'll actually clear coat them before we mount the hardware. It might be easier to do them outside. That's where we are. Tomorrow I'm going to be able to do all the electrical in this cabinet, which I have to get done. Everything that's going in this cabinet, including a ventilation system for the uh, refrigerator to make sure it gets plenty of airflow to keep that compressor cool. It's going to have a small computer fan on it that will actually draw air through underneath and around the refrigerator and out here. Um, and I'm going to have a little switch there for that. So we'll have that switch. We'll have a receptacle, uh, 120 receptacle, and I'll also have a little charging station here um, with USB ports and a, and a 12 volt charger. So all of that's going in here before I actually put that refrigerator in. Well, we're going to wrap this up for today. There's a lot more to come. We've started working on the table and the countertop. So all of that will be wrapped up in the next couple of videos. So it's going to come together. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking that red button down below the video. And make sure you ring the bell so that you get notified when we upload new videos. Should I? Oh, you can't help it. <laughs> it's just inevitable. Ringing the bell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And don't forget to leave us a comment. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. If you have a comment, leave us a comment. <laughs> if, you, if there's something that you want to see that you're not seeing, um, we're definitely not doing all the little details, but we're trying to give you enough so that you can get an idea about what's going on. And you can certainly ask questions, and we'd be happy to help fill in the blanks if you need any help. Um, definitely. And... You know, I'm by no means an expert. This is my first van, but I have enough v building experience that uh, I think I can help out with a lot of things. Um, and definitely I can help out with electrical and plumbing issues and that type mm -hmm. of thing because I have all that experience. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So also, don't forget to check out the description down below. We have links to a lot of the materials we used and the tools that Matt's used, like the pocket screws and the pocket jig and uh, just any of those special tools that we had to buy in order to do this van project. Yeah. Uh, so check plus it out. Plus nuts and plus nut tool. Yeah, which is really cool. And also in the description down below is a free guide if you're interested in sustainable living. You can click on that link and download your free guide. And also if you're interested in more about our story about living off grid and how we ended up this way and how I designed and built the house with two kids, as a single mom, I have a link to my book in the description down below. So check it out. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll say bye for now and we'll see you in the and next video. Sayonara. Sayonara.